going. We're rolling. Alright, just uh, take this. Red light, red light. Okay. Not the red light. That those, these guys, they don't even look at the damn so Is it they working? They, they had it working for about a month. Oh, it's not working. And then it quit working. It's working for a while. But now they're getting they it. Have a cop, so so we've got to fight it out here. All right. Get my down. head straight. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to nose in. I got my horn. I got yeah. my Panamanian tag. You got your insurance. I got, I got extra. I you I might not say that if you see him drive on the curb in the rain. See, this is what you got to worry about. These guys flying out here yeah, right oh, yeah. in the middle of a... Yeah, I don't want to tangle that guy. <laughs> now, once I get up here... Yeah. Right, usually I'll, they'll let you... Come on, white car. I'm, the, I'm really coming in from... They're pretty good about letting you in. What is it? Boy, that was good. That was a real good one. That was Panamanian all the way. Oh, oh, I forgot my horn, though. Driving like Alan. Yay! The worst thing that could happen to me. That's scary. That was a little scary. That could be pretty worse. First time I came here, they had three buses on this side of the road. Double parking in Cologne's always been a big major. Double, triple, quadruple parking. You did cry. And you did want to go home. I took her to Coca Solo first. No, I went to Coca Solo first. It was it was so messed up, you didn't even really know you was in Coca Solo. So I said, man, this is so strange. I'm going. We checked into the Washington. And I picked up a Kulon boy. Uh, he said he took me away to Kwan. I didn't make the damn money deal with him. How stupid. That was our first trip back. Straight to here on the bumpy Cartera all the way over from the city. Central Avenue or the, uh, the way in from the airport was a, a, a nightmare of these guys with the siren horns. Everybody with the siren horns in every car. Uh, we, we stopped at the... Bur at the, uh, the uh, at the uh, McDonald's because it was like a bastion of noiseless safety inside. Plus we were starving. And that was the, you know, so we pulled in there, got my bearings, and we drove all the way over uh, at about 100 million miles an hour, bumper to bumper. Oh, that's fast. Got to Cologne. She's naughty like in one minute of it. Got to go to Coca Solo. Then I went to Cologne, checked in, found the guy. The guy beat me for he beat me for fifteen dollars. I would have gave him a five, okay? He said I want twenty, and he wouldn't get a car. And I let him sit in the car, you know, behind my wife. I said, hey, right here. I pushed his ass out of the car, and uh, you know, was, I couldn't. I didn't even know if I could protect my side. I just got my new knee back in there. Just got operated on. I didn't even know if I could swim or. I couldn't run. That's for sure. You know, I got no sympathy for those guys over at Coca Solo. They go, oh, they've only got one water line. And yeah, and with 20 cents of PVC and a little glue, you can run a bunch of faucets and run it all over the place. They don't pick up after themselves. Anyway, they got that preacher guy, that roster preacher on that YouTube video, whining for who? Charity? Yeah. And, you know, hey, Cumber, Cumber Patch? Whatever his name is. The point is, he's a. He's not doing the right thing, you know, you're just getting money to buy this or that, you know, you need to teach them people to clean up after themselves. Like I said, if you spent ten dollars, really, in reality, buy two spigots and a couple of twelve foot links and a couple of uh, uh, tees and you would have a nice water system there. The water's good. Matter of fact, it just runs free all the time. Uh oh. That guy's been battling it out and lost a couple times for the look of it. Or maybe he See, won. This is all new. This is the overcast. It's going to circle around and go into the well, other zone. And this was, remember, this was all this was all swamp back in here. Yeah, so that and other overpass is back here. I thought that was the other one up ahead. Yeah, yeah. There's two of them. I remember when we drove up that the first time, it just ended. It was like on a, the Blues Brothers when the Nazi tags drove yeah. off the end of the bridge. Yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't hauling butt, and it wasn't really marked at all. It just ended. 
this is where they begin. This is where the French started the record. They were coming through here, they went across the bay, and then they picked up the French French canal on the opposite side. Phoenix was talking. The bartender Phoenix was talking about how this place was full of culverts, and they, they couldn't understand why they kept every time they tried to fill it, it was just filling up. To me? You, you can see me pulling this iPod cord down right now. That's what you're looking at. We're going to take it. We're going to put it in here. And we got 10,000 songs or so right here. None of which sound like that. That's crazy talk. What did I listen to last? We'll see. Good chance at it. Hey, where did, what street did you live on in Gatun? I never lived in Gatun, Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. I lived on, uh, I just like Gatun. Okay. You know what, Gatun was like really cool. My first time there, you know, yes. when well, I first moved and we got invited to a couple parties and hanging out there. I had a lot of pictures. So, of course, the Yacht like Club and stuff like that. Do 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 do.